how does a woman love a man? I think I have also on my uh, website, it says slow, soft, and sweet underneath it. Mm -hmm. And there were just three words that I felt like described the vibe, right? That's what I wanted when I was starting to come into this new idea and become this new person. I thought slow, soft, and sweet. It just felt right. I'll never forget the first, first moment I practiced one of these kind of new skills with my husband, but he was just my boyfriend at that time. He was he had, I was mad at him because I was always mad at a man Mm -hmm. (laughs) and he was coming to my house and uh, he had had a hard day and he walked in the door and I was going to be cold and a bit passive aggressive because I was mad about, I don't know if he was late or there was something I was upset about. And he, he sat on the bed and he started to tell me he had had a long, hard day. And in that moment, I realized I'm going to be a sanctuary right now. Because really what I was mad about was not that important. It was just another reason to be upset. And so he laid down and I cuddled up next to him and I started to like caress his face. And I was just, I was soft and I was sweet. And you just saw him relax. And we were talking and we started laughing about something. And, you know, the night just kind of flowed. And I remember at that moment thinking, I could, we could have had such a different night. Mm. I could have just been a little standoffish. I could have made him beg to ask me what was wrong. I could have put up some wall because I wasn't getting something that I thought I wanted, um, which is funny because often we, as women, if we do change how we relate to men, we get what we want tenfold. Mm. Um, if you can just be patient enough to let that practice, you know, bear you some fruits. So that night when I saw how different he responded to me, you know what I mean? He, you know, kind of took me in his arms and it was just a romantic, beautiful night. I realized I have, this is an art. This is Mm. an art. How to love a man is an art. Yeah. That soft receptive space is what really stood out in that sanctuary yes and that doesn't mean I'm not feisty I'm Latin I'm I can be a feisty (laughs) woman you know and he knows that you know yeah um but I'm very I'm very respectful and I'm very um I'm careful you know doesn't mean I don't have opinions or I don't you know uh what do you call it exercise my any kind of rights that I feel like I'm, you know, there's something I need, or it's just how you do it, which is so important. Yeah. Could you give us an example, if anything comes to mind of communicating your desires or your hurt in a way that shuts him down and then in a way that opens him up? Okay. So one thing I know shuts him down is when he says, what's wrong? And I say nothing. (laughs) (laughs) even you know like he'll say what's wrong and I'll say I don't do this anymore but you know in the past nothing and he'll go what's wrong I say nothing and then I'll, he'll say he'll do it three times for some reason he used to say it three times and he said what's wrong I say nothing he goes all right I'm not asking anymore and then I'd be like oh no <laughs> darn it <laughs> <laughs> so um okay so that shuts him down the the nothing like once I read a long time ago and it, it's so true is that men really want you to tell them what's on your mind the moment it's on your mind, except when he's at work. Mm -hmm. Um, But if you start to feel something, then if you can, he wants to be able to always take your temperature and not feel like, oh no, because most men feel like women are just holding things in and holding things in and holding things in. And then it all comes out at us, you know, during some other fight and they think, why couldn't you have just talked to me about all of this when it first started? Mm -hmm. So one of the things is that shuts him down is if I say nothing, nothing and hold it all in because he knows it's not true. Um, Another thing that shuts him down, it is a big, in my work, one of the things I coach women to do is to communicate without blame, criticism, or attack. Mm -hmm. That's the first, uh, what do you call it a job I give to them and most women say I can't even speak then (laughs) 
right? <laughs> if, you, if you are interacting with your man and there's a problem and you do no blame, criticism, or attack, most women find they, have, they can't talk. Yeah, because I guess the normal, quote unquote, normal way to stay, say something is like, you did this. Mm-hmm. Or you always do this, or what? How could you? Uh, you know, criticism. Yeah. You know, what's wrong with you? And you, you know, that kind of stuff. So, another way that always shuts them down is blame, criticism, and attack. So the kind of shutting yourself down, uh, or the blame, criticism, attack. So what does what actually gets him to respond to me is when I say what I'm feeling, but I express it as a statement of my internal experience. Mm -hmm. So I can say, I just felt really sad because I wanted to spend the weekend doing something together. So that like, that's a a live example because he owns his own business. He's always working on the weekends. He's, you know, still working. (laughs) Yeah. And um, as a woman, you know, I want attention. Um, but, you know, it's how I asked for it that really, and he says, you know, I'm so sorry. I just have this new thing going on and it's taking up my weekend time. Uh, I, and that day that I actually said that, he had worked all day, like 6 a.m. on that Saturday till like 8 p.m. And when he got home, he said, Are we still going out to dinner? And I thought, you still want to go to dinner. You've worked like, you know, 80 hours this week and you worked on Saturday. And he goes, I'm still taking you out to dinner. Hmm. And as a feminine woman, I know how to receive. So as much as I wanted to be like, you don't have to, it's okay. You don't have to, you do, you know, you've worked hard enough. I said, all right. And I went and put on my heels and <laughs> <I'm in. laughs> let him take me to dinner. But, um, but I, I think a key there too, is that I was okay if he didn't because I had expressed how, you know, what was going on with me. So there was, you know, we connected on it. And I just trusted that he would take that hurt feeling and he would do something with it. And it didn't have to be that minute. Hmm. Yeah. What that felt like as opposed to projecting onto him, what is wrong with him? It felt like owning your feelings and how it... Yeah. Yeah. Like there was no, you in a sense, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And really um, letting go of that outcome because mm. a lot of women will use these, I feel statements, but they're very, very adamant about what that outcome should be after they make their, I feel statement. Mm. Yeah. And that it doesn't work that way. And they can feel that men can feel it. Was it that manipulation piece? Kind of. Yeah. Like I feel sad because you're not spending the weekend with me. And if their men don't do anything to fix that, then they're, they go into the blame attack and criticism because they didn't get what they want. Mm. Does that feel like transactional? Almost like I'm, I'm yes. sharing this with you to get something out yes. of you. And it doesn't work that way. It just, it, it, the, the nature of it has to be kind of very um, letting a man step into his power and fix your feelings as he sees fit. Yeah. So and transactional. If you, yeah. I mean, you really, uh, you know, cause at the end of the day, a masculine man and a feminine woman, the dance is he's cherishing my feelings. I'm respecting his thoughts, his ideas, his way of being in the world. I, as long as this is a man that truly loves me, I should be able to express how I'm feeling and know he'll remedy it in the way that he sees fit. It may not be how I see, Mm. but he loves me. Of course, he's going to do something to fix it. 